Hey there, guys. Head Honcho Henry here. I keep hearing people talk about this politician named Chumley, who apparently said a bunch of stuff that pissed people off. So I figured, hey, let's check out that clip together. Go ahead and roll it, Sylvester. You are opposed to open up debate, is that right, on the, on the play? I think this has been settled. Settled in terms of 15 years ago? Yes. And you don't think the state has moved from 15 years ago to now? Oh, so he's just talking about that controversial Confederate flag thing. That's definitely a cause for debate, but I don't understand why people are getting so upset about what he just said. In terms of demographics and feeling of the state? No, I don't think so. I think that uh, misuse and the miseducation of the flag has probably pushed it to this point. I wasn't aware that flags could be educated. But uh, I think the uh, I think the demographics are still a change. My, my, my constituents uh, are, are calling and talking to me a lot about it, and uh, that's the way they feel. He must have a spam filter for anybody under 50 years old who has a significant amount of melanin in their skin. If hate groups have misused the flag, and if hate groups have adopted it as its own... It looks like he's about ready to throw a temper tantrum. And hate groups are certainly creating divisive issue over this. Mommy and Daddy must have never taught him how to answer logical questions. Why continue to fly it here at the state capitol grounds? That's a fair question, and I bet I know his answer. It's going to be something about the wonderful taste of Werther's original. Why, uh, why do we let hate groups dictate how we feel and how we live? You, uh, hate groups are everywhere. Which is why you should always check under your bed at night. Uh, people are, uh, uh, they're, they're mean people everywhere. Yeah, those jerks make me feel bad and give me cold pricklies instead of warm fuzzies. And they're all over the place. F all those mean people. We found that out in Charleston. Um... Why is he smirking about Charleston? That was a really sad tragedy that happened. We're focusing on the wrong thing here. We need to be focusing on the nine families that are left. That seems kind of strange. And see that this doesn't happen again. These people sat in there and waited their turn to be shot. Wait, what the f did he just say? These people sat in there and waited their turn to be shot. That's sad. With somebody in there with a means. Does he mean those mean people with means? Of self-defense could have stopped this. Just because the white folks' church groups is the same as the NRA groups doesn't mean that's that way or everywhere. And we'd have had less funerals than we're having. Look, man, I know that brainwashing sheet that you have to go by gives you certain talking points to hit on, but you need to make sure they make f***ing sense. Otherwise, you look like an idiot. You're turning this into a gun debate? Hopefully the interviewer can bring this back in a good direction. If those nine families asked you to take down it. that flag, would you do it? It's kind of scary that the reporter needs to help Mr. Chumley get back to the topic at hand, but whatever. He's old. You said guns. Why didn't somebody, why didn't somebody just do something? Um, because they were getting f***ing shot? Well, you know, I mean, why? I mean, uh, you've got one skinny person shooting a gun. Why are you hating on skinny dudes all of a sudden? You know, I mean, we need to take and do what we can. Like if the nursery was stocked with Nerf guns. But no, that's... Well, I mean, I, I want to make sure I understand what you're telling me. Are you... I'm pretty sure this guy is just a senile old Asking that these people should have tackled him, these women should have fought him, that... I don't know what, I don't know what the answer was. I believe your standard answer is, it's Obama's fault. Also, option C on your standardized tests these days. But I know it's really, really horrible. Somehow, I doubt that's what he really feels. For nine people to be shot, and I understand that he reloaded his gun during the process. Yeah, that's generally what happens when someone goes to kill a whole f load of people. They run out of bullets and need to put more in their gun. That shouldn't be all that surprising. That's, that's uh, upsetting. Was he just smiling? That's... That's uh, upsetting. Very upsetting. Those nine families and every black person so in close. South Carolina. So sorry. And wow, he's having a really hard time hiding his true feelings about this. All uh, the people, the white people who are against that flag, believe it shouldn't be on the state grounds. You oh. are saying it should stay because your constituents want it to. And here's another attempt to get this racist old ball sack back on the topic. 
It stays there until the people of South Carolina say it should come down. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Didn't he start off this interview by saying people shouldn't be discussing the flag issue? You are opposed to open up debate, is that right, on the, on the flag? I think this has been settled. It makes me really sad that humans have elected this gentleman. And by gentleman, I mean f out old fart face with a little tiny racist dick who shouldn't be allowed to lick the dingleberries off of a cow's asshole, let alone make important political decisions. But I know how to make myself feel better. I'm going to go fishing for some sharks. Now, what's that bait called again? Head Honcho Henry out. <laughs>